you're here representing Zometry to give us some information. You're the CEO, so I'm taking this as just gospel today. And I hope a lot of you feel the same way. But you you know a lot about the AI-powered marketplace this, that allows small and medium manufacturers to do business like with large buyers. So let's get started because you've got some interesting findings from a recent survey, you know, of voters in my area. Yeah, exactly. So we went ahead together with Zogby and polled voters in five states. They're going to be voting in the upcoming presidential primaries and caucuses. And we found that the overwhelming majority of voters want America to invest in its manufacturing infrastructure. That includes its talent, as well as advanced manufacturing uh, techniques and capabilities. Isn't the, what, the way we're working our country now, I'm very disappointed, but I, I think it goes back to a lot, not to b have blame, but just to help people understand I think when President Clinton did NAFTA, I think that took a lot of our manufacturing away. Am I correct? Yeah, look, I think the trend of jobs leaving manufacturing from America has been going on for decades. And a lot of that was powered by just the lower wages that you're seeing in other countries around the world. But, but here's the exciting thing. With things like AI and advanced manufacturing technologies like 3D printing, we can bring those jobs right back here to the United States and reshore those manufacturing jobs. And not only that, but we can also become uh, uh, the manufacturing powerhouse for other countries. So reverse that trend instead of us outsourcing our work, reshoring it and becoming the manufacturing backbone of, of lots of other countries. Um, and here's the thing, when we saw when we did this, this poll of voters, this is not a political, whether you're Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, it doesn't, independent, doesn't matter. You want manufacturing here in the United States and you want our country to invest in it. Tell me, what kind of skills will the workforce, if we haven't been doing the manufacturing, and that, that's true. I was looking at U.S. Steel or the steel in general in America recently, and a lot of that no longer exists or it's been outsourced. So that means that the workers have not developed their skills over time. What will they need to go forward if we bring manufacturing back? You're spot on. We need more skilled workers in manufacturing. That is probably the number one concern of small manufacturers across the United States. And by the way, there are over 600,000 manufacturers in the United States. And, and on average, they have less than 20 employees. So their biggest concern is how do I get enough skilled workers? And so we now need to invest. And we have probably, we need probably over 500,000 more skilled workers. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So we need to start going back and, and having these folks train community colleges, offering lots of programs. There's other job retraining programs, public-private partnerships. And we need to ensure that these workers know how to program advanced manufacturing machines. This is kind of like the Silicon Valley of the past is now manufacturing. So we want to make sure that our workers have those skills. And guess what? As a parent, I have three children. We need to be telling our children that we would be proud and excited if they went into manufacturing. Now, manufacturing offers a variety of jobs, and you need to say that because, you know, everybody wants to be the CEO, but some yeah. people have to be the workers. Well, here's the good news. The workers, in this case, it's high-paid, high-skilled jobs, and you're learning not only, you know, how to program machines, and you're learning about how to apply artificial intelligence, but you're making really cool stuff. When you think about, you know, space travel, and when you think about investments we've got in, in, in medical devices and other high-tech industries, helping manufacture that puts you right at the forefront, it puts you right in the middle of some really exciting stuff. Okay, so you're talking to the 600,000 workers now. What about the local manufacturers of these businesses? How do they compete? How do they get their, their, their products back in the United States? Yeah, so they need to embrace these new advanced manufacturing. They got to make sure that their workers know how to program machines. They need to learn about the latest uh, trends in additive or 3D printing. Uh, they have to learn about how to use software to enable them to redesign parts so they can easier to manufacture and have better performance and so they can reduce their manufacturing times. Uh, and then they need re to reach out to the community. And as I said, there's probably lots of programs they can take advantage of either on the local or state or federal level to, to prepare themselves for, for the manufacturing renaissance that we're right at the cusp on. 
So this is like a a, a, a technology revolution uh, coming to manufacturing. So what did your survey tell us how the manufacturing can operate, how they can modernize their operations? Yeah. So voters were very clear. They want investments in automation, robotics, and artificial intelligence. And they want to make sure that we're competing globally. And voters understand that investing in automation, robotics, and AI is actually going to create more jobs. We're not going to lose them. Uh, and so, and they also want America to be independent of other countries for their manufacturing needs, particularly in industries like defense. We don't want to have to rely on others to protect our country. So we've got to build that right here in the U.S. And we've got all these small businesses. If we bring more work back here, reshore it, invest in those businesses, we can make that happen. Well, one of my posters on, uh, where is this coming from, Instagram, because they listen to us live on a lot of platforms, they want to make sure that they can be a part of the revolution because they want to know where their food is coming from. Yeah, so they should, you know, if they're looking for a job, there is, as I said, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said, we need 500,000 more workers in manufacturing. So they should consider a career in manufacturing. If they're in school right now, if they're at a community college, they should be taking a course in manufacturing. Uh, and they should also come to zometry.com, uh, my company, xometry.com, to learn more. This has been a great conversation that I think everyone needs to hear. That's why I get to do this job. Let me ask you, if you could give me a summary of the survey, what are you telling us? The manufacturing, voters are saying resoundingly, manufacturing is critical to our economy. It's critical for us to compete globally, and we need to embrace it and invest in it. I think it's to our country's security in so many different ways. I want to thank you so very much uh, for coming on. This has been, as once again I said, Randy, so, so enlightening. Thank you so very much, and, and success with Zometry. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBeebeShow.com and YouTube.com slash Show. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash Show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.